Hey there everyone, and how are you guys doing today? I am Joe Marion from MobileCupOfJoe.com, and if you just bought your brand new Google Chromecast that just came in the mail, like it did in my case, you got it right here, really excited to use it, but you know what, you don't know how to set it up, but you're not exactly sure how to get it hooked up and ready to go properly. So in this episode of Mobile Cup of Joe, I'm going to be showing you how to hook up your Google Chromecast and hook it up to your home Wi-Fi network and get everything rolling, so you can start streaming Netflix, YouTube, Google Chrome, Google Play, and so much more right to your HDTV. And we're going to do it really fast, really easy, all, in, all about in this video how to set up your brand new Google Chromecast. But before we go any further, please go ahead and grab that coffee cup, fill it up, bring it over, and sit on down. Take a swig for a mobile cup of Joe. All right, so the first step in setting up your brand new Google Chromecast is going to be hooking it up to your HDTV. Now, you have folks, you do need an HDTV uh, because it is a HDMI port, so you must have an HDTV to use a, Chrome, a Chromecast, but I'm pretty sure everyone's got one at this day and age in 2013. So the first step, you're going to take your Google Chromecast right here, and it is an HDMI port, as you can see right there, little dongle, and all you're going to do is plug it into an available HDMI port in your TV, if we can get it in there nice and good. So just oh, get her in there, nice and sturdy. Not going to say that's what C said. That, I completely screwed that up, so move it on from that. And you can see that we do have a little micro USB uh, port right there. Now, if you have a newer model TV and your TV does have a USB port, what you can do is actually just take the micro USB little port right here. You can see it. You're going to plug it into your Google Chromecast. And if you've got a newer TV, you can just take the full-size USB port right here and plug it into the USB port on your TV. Unfortunately, though, since we do not have a newer model TV with the USB port, we're going to take this USB little input right here and plug it into this AC wall outlet adapter and plug it into our AC outlet. So we're going to go ahead and do that, and then we're going to go on to the next step of setting up your Google Chromecast. Okay, so we got our Google Chromecast hooked up into our TV, and no, this isn't Google Chromecast, this is Roku. Stop that right now. All we gotta do, though, after you hook up your Google Chromecast, gotta go take your TV remote control, hit input like so, and go to the HDMI port that you inserted your Chromecast into. For our sake, get back here. In our case, it's Video 7, the HDMI 2. Hit OK, and you'll be taken to this screen right here, it's going to say, set me up on your laptop or phone, visit google.com forward slash Chromecast forward slash setup. And it's going to give you your name. In our case, our name is currently Chromecast0534. So we're going to go ahead and hop onto our laptop and do that right now. Okay, so after you go to uh, google.com slash Chromecast slash setup, you'll be taken to this page right here where it says, welcome, let's get you set up and watching. So we're first we're going to have to download the app to set up our brand new Chromecast. We're just going to hit download right there. And it just finished downloading. Okay, it's going to say thanks for downloading the Chromecast app. Uh, if it doesn't begin downloading right away, you can hit that little button right there. But in our case, it did download. So now what we're going to do, we're going to click on the downloader. And it's thinking about what it wants to do. It's going to initialize it right now and install it. And it's booting right along. Isn't this exciting? And it's still loading. And I'm going to entertain you while it loads. I can entertain you. Because I'm not... There we go. Hopefully. I was going to have to start telling knock-knock jokes. Thank you. Thankfully, it didn't come for that. Yes, accept. We're going to accept the privacy terms. It's connecting to my Wi-Fi router. Ready to set up Chromecast 0534. Well, that's a sexy name right there. Okay, while we do our stuff, your computer's internet connection will be temporarily unavailable. Don't worry, it'll be back up in a snap. Alright, let's continue. God, that's a horrible accent, whatever that is. So it's connecting to our Chromecast 0534. And it's a nice, very pretty little spinning Google circle right there. Very, very nice. And it's still going. Okay, so it's going to put up a number on our screen right there. And it's going to say, is this number on your screen h 9 Q5 and on our TV, yes it is. Uh, let's see if I can show you on the camera, just so you know. You can see, set me up. Our TV has the H9 Q5, just like on our computer. Let's go back to the computer, 
real quick. So if you do see this code, you're going to hit, that's my code. If it's not your code, you're obviously going to hit, I don't see that code. But in our case, that is the right code. So we're going to say that's my code. So now we have to enter our wireless network. Let's do that really quick. And we're going to, oh, you can make sure that it is on the right network. You're going to have to make sure that the Chromecast is on the correct network. So let's go ahead and enter our password real quick. Entered our Wi-Fi password. Now we're going to name our Chromecast. So you can change it to anything that we want. Let's name it Chromey because that sounds nice and cute. Chromey. I don't know. Sounds very nice. And we're going to hit uh, continue. All right, so it's still connecting right now. So there you go. Your Chromecast is, is successfully set up. We're going to start using Chromecast, obviously. And it's loading something up. All right, so one thing that I actually did do uh, earlier before I got my Chromecast, you need to install a plugin for your Google Chromecast to start streaming from your laptop to your TV. So to get that plugin, just go to the Google Chrome Web Store and search for Chromecast like so and when you search for Chromecast you will see you want the Google Cast right here from cast.google.com you're just gonna get it and it's gonna give you this little extension up at the top of your computer right here if I can show you that uh, where part of the screen do you need to be zoom in zoom in this is awkward that's the wrong side of the screen so when you get the extension you're gonna get this little icon right here and when you click on that, you can share something to your TV. So let's go back to our TV and start sharing stuff to it right now. Alrighty, so you are now ready to start streaming stuff to your Google Chromecast. You see we've got our name Chromey right there. It's 5.49 p.m. It's ready to cast. And you can stream from your laptop just like I showed you by hitting that little extension button. I'm going to show you, though, how to stream now from your tablet. We're using the Lenovo IdeaTab A1000 right here, and it's very simple. So let's say we want to stream some music from our Google Play Music library. All you do is you open up Google Play Music, like so, and let's go ahead and choose a song. Let's go into our Go To Songs of Awesome playlist, which is where you go to for Songs of Awesome. And what song should we hear today? Got so many good choices. Um, let's choose. I really don't know. This is quite difficult. Let's go with the classic. Let's go with Take On Me by Aha. So right now it's playing from the tablet. But if we go here, and if we go to this button right here at the top, and we select that right there, if it wants to work, you can see that when you do click it, you'll get an option to connect to device Chromey. We're going to choose yes. Yes. So now it should stream. Right there, we've got the Google Play Music logo ready to listen. Choose a song from your old device to listen to it here. So we're just going to go ahead and resume Take On Me. And it should start playing it. There we go. Got Aha Classic, Classic Song. Now to pause the song, just hit pause on your uh, Google Play device right there on your tablet. Now let's say you want to stream a YouTube video. So let's go ahead and let's go to YouTube on our tablet. And you can see. So let's go ahead and let's go to Mobile Cup of Joe because I hear that guy has some pretty pretty good videos. So if we click on a video, let's go to our video for our one year anniversary. And if you want to stream a video, just hit again that little icon at the top of your screen right there, that stream button. And when you hit it, it's going to connect it to your TV, as you can see right there, and it'll start playing it. In theory, it should. There we go. If it wants to load up. And it's thinking, it's trying to focus. There we go. It's buffering the video. We're not going to do an intro or anything for this video. Just want to make a quick video. 
announcing the Mobile Cup of Joe's one year anniversary here on YouTube, and really the one year anniversary of ever being created. Uh, when I created Mobile Cup of Joe back in August. So there you go. Really, really awesome here. If you're watching a video, you can actually use your Chrome cat, your tablet as a little remote control. You can play and pause. So if we hit the play button right here, or it should play, we hit the wrong thing. But you can use your tablet to like pause the video or play it. it. Really, really awesome here. Very easy setup with the Google Chromecast. I'm excited to keep using it some more. You guys should be too because Chromecast is freaking awesome. $35, guys. Really, really awesome device here. Anyway, that's how to set up a Google Chromecast. I will try to get a video up for my full review of it, but this is just a quick video. Not really a quick video. It's kind of lengthy now, but a video showing you how to hook up your Google Chromecast. Guys, my name is Joe Martin from Mobile Cup of Joe. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook for all the MCOJ news and head on over to www.mobilecupofjoe.com for latest in mobile technology news, giveaways, and more. I am Joe Marin from MobileCupofJoe.com. This is my second time saying this in the video. I am from... God, I said it again. Whatever. I'm MobileCup... Oh, God, I messed up again. Just thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you later. Bye-bye.